everyone. Today I am going to show... No. Hello everyone. My name is Alan, the Armchair Athlete, and today we are going to go and test drive a fantastic car. This is a really old Mustang. I really like this car. I hope you do too. We're going to test drive this thing and we are going to see how it reacts in different situations. And from there, we're going to give it an overall grade on how it really works and how it works in my opinion. Okay, so here we are. We are starting in the Mustang. We are seeing how this thing drives. Now, I should warn you, in this game, I don't turn very well. And I would assume that the old Mustang and the old Camaro don't turn very well anyways. So this may end up with a gigantic, huge crash that I am very sorry for, for those people who are actually here for somebody who knows how to race. So here we are, we are going along the track. We made it around one corner so far. This car is not handling very well at all. However, you have to remember that these cars back in the day were made to go straight and not turn. So here we are coming into a, another turn to see how we will do. Let's try and take it slow. So far this car isn't horrible, but I am also not pushing it. So let's try and drift this corner and see what happens when we try and drift. And we're drifting and then I just lost it. Damn it. Oh well. As I can as I was saying, I'm not a very good person at turning. I'm usually pretty good at drifting though, so that was scary for me. Anyways, let's continue on this track and see how one more lap goes with the Mustang. Here we go. First corner. Going super fast. Can we make it without dying? And yes, we did. Perfect. That was fantastic. Now let's go around corner number two in a second and corner three back to back. And so far so good, so far so good. We are there and we are drifting. Yes, and we made it, uh, sort of, kind of, in a way. We sort of made it. So let's continue along this track and uh, let's see how we are going. Again, very good with the straight line. We are going 100 miles per hour in kilometers. Who the hell knows? And going around this corner, how will we do this time? Will I screw up or will I drift and die? So far so good. Uh, uh, almost, almost, almost lost it. Let's see if we can drift this corner. Can we drift it successfully? Sort of, kind of, in a way, maybe. Yes, made it around. I made it around. Ha 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 ha. So overall, car handles okay. If I was a better driver, maybe it would be easier to drive. However, this car, I would say maybe give it 6 out of 10 because the corners are not very good. However, at the same time, uh, you kind of understand that it's a muscle car. Now going over to the Camaro. The Camaro is a car that is very quick, can do burnouts really well. Uh, so I would assume that at least the front end suspension is able to keep the car down around corners, which would be fantastic as the Mustang just let me go and do whatever I want, didn't want to do, I should say. So, going around the first corner, not bad. Second corner, pretty good. This car is handling a lot better. If I was to give uh, a rating and say that this was a 10 on handling, which it's not versus other cars, but if I was to say this was a 10, I would give the Mustang like a 6. So this car versus other cars, if you give this car like roughly a 6 versus like an Audi or something, uh, then we would give the Mustang probably around a 2 or a 3 on handling. But this car is handling really well. Let's see if I can drift this corner. I'm going to try and go with second gear and hammer it first gear. Nope, I lost it. Okay, going and continuing on. Not, not really that bad of a car. Uh, could be a little bit quicker, um, but it, again, a very old car. Uh, I would like to, if only Project Cars 2 allows you to uh, actually upgrade the engines and make them go faster overall and maybe give it like eight or 900 horsepower, that would be really interesting to drive. But I find in Project Cars 2 that you kind of float on ice, it feels like. 
uh, sometimes versus uh, other games like uh, Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo Sport, I'm able to control the car a lot better, but that's just me, uh, my own personal opinion. But this car is handling really well around corners until I start really trying to hammer it, which is usually a mistake anyways. Of course, we are racing here on the Silverstone, so if you wanted to take these cars out your, uh, yourself, uh, basically, well, you need to buy the game. It's the link is in the description below, but um, you would have to go and race them on Silverstone because that's the track that we are on right now. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I just lost it there. Going around the track to finish it off, I would say between the two cars, the Mustang sounds uh, just as good as the Camaro, but the Camaro does win and is, between these two, a better car in this game. However, I would be biased if it was real life because I personally like Mustangs better.